Welcome back guys, this is Henry15022 Inc. I'm back and we are continuing with PHP, um, the PHP Track and Code Academy and we are working with for loops. So what a for loop basically is, it's, it's a counter that counts from one given variable's value to, an, to the desired value that you want to um, get to. So basically we, we created a variable, loop, leap, leap. We gave it a value, it's 2004, and we are counting up to 2050, and we are incrementing by 4, so it's going to count from 2004 to 2008 to 2012, and so on. And we just echo it out on the screen, save and submit, we get the green check mark. Now nothing shows up, because I don't know why, sometimes it shows up, sometimes it doesn't. I think Codecademy needs to fix that. So what this number two is basically asking us to do is to make sure that we have everything that we need. So fill in the blank with the correct symbols and letters. So just write for before the parentheses and add a curly braces after the parentheses and after the semicolon after you echo out whatever you need to echo out. So number three, number three, we are basically writing our own for loop with the given, um, with what Code Academy wants us to use. So they want us to count to 100, essentially. So what I'm going to do to get to whatever number they want us to do, I'm going to set weight. I so I created it. A variable called weight I set it equal to zero and what I'm doing is we are basically counting up to 110 and we are counting up to 110 by tens plus 10 and what happens add in curly braces and we just want to echo out weight Save and submit. And we get the green check mark. We're golden. See how it, it's counting over here? 0, 10, 20, 30, so on. Moving on to the next lesson. So what we basically have is our previous code and what Code Academy wants us to do is to start from 50 and count down to to five by five so this case we are counting backwards not forward backwards and make sure you change your arrows the direction of your arrows so here we go weights 50 is counting down to five by five save and submit and we get the green check mark we are golden moving on so what what you should automatically realize right now is one unset and two for each now according to PHP Academy well not PHP PHP's document for each pretty much works with arrays and its objects it won't work if you try to set it um, if you try to use it with variables so keep that in mind so it's basically going through all of this and it's going to list them it's going to echo it out in list format and you guys can't see it so let me go back to show you guys what it would look like so here we go it incorporates HTML inside of it so you get this yeah you get this list here moving on what we want to do is fill in the blanks with what we know is the proper way to write a for each loop so for each before the parentheses and after it and save and submit we get the green check mark we are golden so for the for the last one we want to write our own for loop 
not really our own. It's what Code Academy wants us to do with their values. So for each, whoops, for each, we bring in yard lines as and we create a variable called touchdown. Curly braces. So we are echoing and turn it turn um the thing inside of a the echo into a variable. So echo we are echoing out touchdown and make sure you end your curly brace below the echo and make sure you unset it. Now unset basically means that you are destroying yard lines. So you're not using that as a reference anymore. Let's see video preview. So 50s, the 40s, the 30, the 20, the 10. Touchdown. Save and submit. And whoopsie daisy, what did I do wrong here? Let me see, what did I do wrong? Echo. Let me see if I actually did something wrong or no. It's saying that I did something wrong. Maybe add something like this. And we get the green check mark. I just have to t um put the apostrophes in there. I think that's what they're called. I don't know. Um so add like subscribe comment down below. This is Henry1502 Inc. I'm out.